we need to understand our dependence on, on sustainable ecosystems and, and we need to understand that ecosystems are ideally well-functioning systems. But another really important topic that can be conflictuous at times and, and is perhaps at the moment is the role of forests in climate change mitigation. So I and I am a forester by background. You first in forestry is quite a multidisciplinary um, area and so you learn a lot of different things and, and throughout I guess my sort of professional development it, it has really struck me how there are so many uh, quite um, isolated discussions and understandings of what, what is happening around us in the world and uh, this happens between different disciplines so those who look at the ecosystem function might not talk very much to look with those who look at ecosystem management more in more practical terms, uh, let alone with those who are just studying the resource use or the resource flows or even the sort of end destiny of the, of the resources. So, um, so this disconnect that's partly to do with also our economic system is, is very striking and, and I think that this explains us not having been able to tackle these challenges that we have identified a really long time ago. As a very personal thing, I, I grew up on a farm in Finland, on a, on a smallish southern Finland farm or a medium-sized farm for Finnish terms, and and you and of course you manage the farm when you, it is such small scale. You live with the nature, you live with uh, with the extreme weather events that you encounter, and then the, you live with your animals, and and um, you just have to deal with. Uh, with the challenges that come ahead and adaptiveness is really, really natural. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would say exploitation is not natural. So in some way it is living with the system. And then I spent very formative years in Zambia, in, in the western province of Zambia, in a small town called Mongo, and that is on a floodplain. And also there the weather events are extreme and people live with the nature and they are kind of uh, very vulnerable to the nature, but they also understand it very well. And so these have been, in some way, this kind of living close to nature and with nature has been very formative for me. And I haven't had like an enlightening moment in my life about nature. About, I, so I don't remember, maybe I have had, but I don't remember one. I don't think I have a switch, that I think that I have somehow grown with it. Mm -hmm. And I, I understand very well this very dramatic phenomena that happen in, in, in the world and I get touched by it. But... Um, I don't get devastated, I still have like in a way a, a solution searching type um, attitude and approach to, to the problems. Yeah, so um, at the conference I was um, using my, um, my experience as an analyst of ecosystem services and forest ecosystems and, and, and policy and governance, but I was asked to talk about also the, what political science has to, has to give to these, um, to the debates of multiple functions and, um, and uh, sustainable uh, delivery of multiple ecosystem services. And what this discipline has to offer is structuring the problems, noticing who says what, and noticing also in the trends that we have happening in the ecosystem, um, who benefits from changes in the ecosystem, and also who loses, and then um, if you change the mechanisms by which you govern a system, so you bring in a new policy, you for example um, require offsetting, um, offsetting the damage that's done to the ecosystem, um, political science helps you look at who loses and who gains when such a new policy is introduced. So, yeah, I guess these were my messages um, another important message is that I use the uh, um, big sort of uh, uh, disciplinary divides between how we approach preservation, sustainable management and restoration and, and how these discourses are not as connected as they perhaps should be if we wanted to really use, optimally use the different strategies for, for increasing sustainability.
traditionally the Finnish forestry, like forestry in many other continents or in, in Central Europe or in America, is the forestry sector itself is not very conflictuous, so it somehow knows how to dampen conflict, and I also talked about that today. But then forestry is challenged from the outside, and then the typical conflict in Finland has been biodiversity conservation, because Finnish forests are quite intensively managed, uh, particularly in southern Finland. Um, we have lack of conservation areas, and when there is a well-reported um, decline in biodiversity. So, so the conflict is between biodiversity conservation and, and forestry. But another really important topic that can be conflictuous at times, and, and is perhaps at the moment, is the role of forests in climate change mitigation, and, and the way forests can be used towards um, yeah, generating more more carbon, sequestering more carbon, or functioning as a carbon stock, and what and this is also then contrasted with with the biodiversity consequences of the different strategies. Mm -hmm. Finland has an has indigenous Sami people uh, up in the north, and the, their land rights and their management of land is quite different from from how we manage. Um, so they herd reindeers, and, and also ecologically the reindeer are up north. And so then there is also for, for southern Finland, where most of the population lives and where most of the policies are designed, that is quite disconnected from, from this um, northern Finland, where you have a lot of protected areas, a lot of reindeers, you have the Sami indigenous, and then you have some pressure to, to use more forest. Um, so what, how could we, I cannot recognize a really good restoration debate or, or, or many ideas of how uh, these reindeer herding areas would be restored at the moment. Or what are they? I, so it's much more about managing the population of the carnivorous species um, who kill, that kill some of the reindeer. And then the, the Sami people's rights to forests when, when new industry, when there is pressure to bring in new forest industry. Restoration could be a nice idea to introduce, I think. Yeah, so I think that this promise is that we would solve the climate crisis with planting new trees or, and, and the sort of debate about what happens to biodiversity, whether we should preserve more air or totally set aside more preservation uh, areas for preservation, so establish more natural nature parks or, or like totally remove people from areas. And then, and then the more sustainable use ideas of managing the resource. That these different discussions of restoration, conservation or preservation, and sustainable use need to come much, much more together, and they need to really learn from each other. And I think that forestry plays a key role here. That foresters are, are the forest sector and forest management has a lot of skill in addressing all of these different strategies, and, and perhaps building this dialogue, um, but perhaps the forest sector has to then, um, in a way, be more open about their own assumptions of, of what trees are used for as well when they enter this dialogue. We need to understand our dependence on, on sustainable ecosystems and, and we need to understand that ecosystems are ideally well-functioning systems that don't always have exactly the features that, that particular <laughs> Uh, particular groups want, that we need to just think of ecosystems as quite complex systems and we need to make use of ecosystems in, in, in generating clean air and sequestering carbon uh, all across the landscape and, and forest ecosystems can protect agricultural areas, waterways and, and forests have a very important role in, in, in making the world more sustainable. You cannot think of forests as so distant from people that you, they would be like a technical unit that you can just design a really good science-based uh, plan and then manage them in that way. But you do need to manage the forests and, and design the management with the local people who depend on them and who are then also taking care of the forest.